Look at that. As I sat down to film the intro for this video, I noticed something moving in the grass next to me. It was a praying mantis. This mantis is smaller than the one I filmed for the praying mantis episode, but they are always fun to find. So this isn't what we came for. But, uh, it's a good find. Hi, I'm Philip Watson. Today we are looking for dragonflies. We got interrupted by a praying mantis earlier. What we have here is... Ooh, no, it's blown away. Is what the dragonfly comes out of. So they'll come out of the water and then they will come out of this, just much like a butterfly comes out of a cocoon, and then it'll have its wings. That's awesome. This is a big dragonfly too. This is a nymph husk. Here we have the double striped bluette. These dragonflies are small and fairly slow moving. This dragonfly is dipping its tail into the water. You might ask why it is doing that. And the answer is it is laying eggs on the vegetation. Here is a brown double striped bluette. These dragonflies are the most common dragonflies that I have seen and are usually found in groups. Here we have some dragonflies coupling. Dragonflies do have predators. One of them is the northern water snake. These snakes spend most of their time underwater looking for frogs, bugs, fish, anything that happens to fall in the water. This snake is around three feet long and probably would prefer larger prey than a small dragonfly though. These snakes are non-venomous, but can tend to have a temper. Bandwing meadowhawk is the name of this dragonfly. These kind of dragonfly prefer to be around flat open areas, unlike the bluettes. They are a mid-sized dragonfly that feed on small flying insects, such as mosquitoes and gnats. The wings on this dragonfly are half brown and half clear. These dragonflies are fast and agile.
here we have the red veined meadowhawk. This dragonfly has a red body with clear wings and has identical behaviors to the band winged meadowhawk. A glimpse of the golden ring dragonfly. Walking along the shore of this stream, I noticed a dragonfly hovering and dive bombing the surface of the water. Why do you think it was doing this? If you guessed laying eggs, you'd be right. Let's see what it looks like up close. as gentle as possible here. Oh man, it, it's got to fold its wings, otherwise it's not going to fit. Look at that. These wings are incredible. Let's take a closer look. The wing design reminds me of a close-up picture of a leaf. Well, I guess it's time to let this girl go back. I don't want to damage the wings, so I have to be extra careful. Think we have it? And there we go. Thank you for watching this episode of Discover Wilderness. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.